Developing tonight, we are hearing from a man who desperately tried to save two people during a shooting inside a recording studio in Laurel this morning. They later died, and a third person was wounded in the violence. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at what is still an active scene, and he has more on the chaos. Mike. Denise, police still have the area blocked off. They pushed us back earlier today when they discovered some new evidence. And you're right, we talked to a witness who described his frightening ordeal. He said he heard as many as 18 gunshots. We prayed. We asked God to spare them. We, we tried everything we could. Spencer Tucker ducked for cover when bullets started flying at Track House Studios in Laurel just after 1.30 in the morning. I was about to record my first client and shots rang out and I dove to the floor and then we heard yelling and then more shots rang out and then we went. I came out of the door after one of the main studio workers checked and then there were two men lied out in the doorway. He and co-workers tried to save two of the victims who later died. Some people tried to do CPR. We tried to, you know, expose the wounds, put pressure on them. The studio is less than a mile from the Laurel Racetrack and sits next to a residential area near the Route 198 overpass. You can see the dried blood right there, right here. Tucker is still traumatized and has no idea what led to the shooting. He showed us the faint blood stain on his shoe. A third victim survived and was able to get himself to the hospital. We believe there could have been some sort of argument between two different groups um, that led to the shooting, but what, since we're so early in the investigation, we're kind of trying to figure that out. We are hoping to get video from the establishment. Um, that's what we're working on. And uh, evidence techs right now are processing the crime scene as, as we speak. Tucker hopes for closure and will never forget those terrifying moments. I might have gotten lucky because I knew one of my colleagues, there was a bullet that flew right in front of his face through the wall and narrowly missed him, so I'm more than blessed to be here today. How do you cope with something like that? You say that you're here for a reason, and you weren't the one who was gone that day for a reason. Powerful words. Now, these are the first two homicides of the year here in Laurel. Police say they have yet to recover any weapons here. Reporting live on the scene in Laurel, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, thank you.